the taste of Lebanon. The taste of Lebanon is a taste which is very deep, rooted into history. In the early days of humanity, it was considered as a land of milk and honey, and it was a land of paradise. A wine which has the ability to age is like a man who has the ability to age. As wine grows older, it has more experience, so it has much more to say. So a young wine, a baby wine, could talk to you for a minute or a second. This wine could talk to you for hours. My first vintage was 59. It was such a discovery for me to see the miracle of the wine fermenting. It was a complete discovery of the power of life. And I still do not understand it. You can see in it the sun, the soil, the climate, life. I would like to see people produce a wine which would reflect Lebanon. We should not produce wine with the aim to imitate the French or imitate the Italian. We should produce wines which would reflect what is Lebanon. Lebanon climate, Lebanon terroir, Lebanon history, and Lebanon food and culture. The Bekaa Valley, if no one knows, is one of the top six, seven terroirs in the world. And it is uh, due to many reasons. First, we have a very good dry atmosphere, dry uh, weather. Two, we have more than 300, 320 days of sunshine. Three, we have the exact quantity of water, which gives a little bit of stress to the vines, which gives more concentration and uh, a good lifetime for the vines. It is a very old winery. We keep the ceiling as it is because the yeast lives here. And, uh, and if we clean the, the ceiling, we're gonna move out the yeast. Uh, I don't know why, always when I come to this room, I talk with uh, whisper, because the wine is sleeping now. It's a bit early for the wine. Yes. The philosophy of the Venetorel is understanding wine and producing something regular each year, something that uh, would be shared by all the people in the winery, even the employees. As you can see, all the people are touching each bottle. The human uh, factor is important. In 2006, we had the war in July, and it ended in the end of August. The very next day, we started to harvest. Even if we have a war, we can export it. People want to live. The political problem will not affect directly the wine business in Lebanon. But sometimes it will give us a positive impact. When people hear about wars, wars, wars in Lebanon, very bad political situation and terrorism and everything, and they taste a good wine, they will really appreciate it double. <laughs> Bellevue started in 2000. When we started planting, the workers said, oh, we can't plant, we just found a cluster bomb. So 83 of the cluster bombs were dropped on the village by the Israelis. 17 years later, we're planting a vineyard and we found a cluster bomb. The workers said, we will not plant this vineyard. I'm looking around me, I have 1,100 vines, they have to be in the soil immediately. Call the Lebanese army, there's only two more weeks. I told myself, in two weeks, the vines will be all dead. So, with a couple of brave young men, we decided to plant the vines in the middle of the cluster field. And thank God nobody died from that. We started with two vineyards. One of them was a very small plot of land here. And the other one was the original site of Hotel Bellevue, where my grandfather's hotel was, where I grew up. So this is the first vineyard we planted in, Pamdu, in Pamdun, my grandfather's vineyard. I spent my childhood here. I know every stone in this vineyard. The grapes that we harvest are the size of chickpeas, and the grape is, is very dense, full of aromas. This is one vineyard, a few meters down the road, here, okay? Okay, here you go. Look at that. Do you see the difference? That's really the complexity of our, of our terroir. There's something about the earth here and the energy of this earth that I cannot find anywhere else.
the more hard work and the more passion you put into into your vines, the better the result. So the more you overcome hurdles, the better the result. It just so happens that we didn't expect cluster bombs to have, you know, to be one of these hurdles. Cheers. We started this winery in 1998. We found that wine would be the best media to convey a different image of Lebanon and of the Beka Valley. You have two ways to look at wine. Way number one is to look at the wines from the New World wines. These are wines like an industry, you know, it's like a factory. The owner could be, it could be making shoes or tires for the cars or, or spare parts. The other way around is to, to consider that wine should complement your food, should reflect your food. Wine reflects the geography, the soil, the climate, the weather, the human being. Do you think it's by chance that the Temple of Bacchus is half an hour from here? It's not in Tuscany. It's not in Rioja, it's not in Bordeaux. The ancient people who were here learned the technique of farming vines. Second, of making wines. When people look at it, Lebanon and say, you know, recently you had some problems. Well, we look at wine with a long perspective, 5,000 years, 6,000 years. With all the different conflicts, no one could stop the Lebanese from making wine.